Hello. Glad to see you. Who are you? I am a robot named Gia Gia. There has been a period of weird news on social media for a long time. Something unheard or unheard is present in numerous places. You must be aware that robots are now making human jobs easier in all countries because of advances in science and technology. The popularity of robots and humanoids has grown. Therefore, it is obvious that these robots are designed to resemble humans as closely as possible and to behave similarly. Want to know about it? Stay tuned until the end of the video and let us watch leaked new female humanoids robots. But before we begin, everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. There are a lot of big companies and factories where robots do more than half of the work. They look so real that sometimes people think they are real people. Some have shared a picture of one of those robots that looks like a woman. After seeing how real this woman was, people were surprised to learn that this was not a real woman, but a robot. Here are the leaked new female humanoid robots. Olivia. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. According to what people say, the Real Doll Company of America is known for making very realistic female robots that look like they are real. This company has shown off a picture of one of these robots on social media are a woman. When Olivia was made, her name was Olivia. Olivia Robot can be seen crying in the company's pictures with the public. Many people thought that Real Doll Company had shared a picture of an unfortunate woman. When people learned the truth, they were shocked. The company told us about this robot in full. A software called X-Mode helps her make these robots. According to Real Doll, they used a modular head system in these robots and advanced AI algorithms such as X-Mode. Thanks to this modular head system, these robo-dolls can alter their faces, nod their head, move their eyes, and even blink. In addition, they can converse with customers. Previously, no robot had such a feature. Customers may personalize these dolls as well as regulate their sound. Now let us tell you that people are shocked to see this robot and share this robot on social media. Today, people want a robot like this to do their work faster. Aida How does technology obscure? In the age of AI, new ideas keep us wondering about our place in the world, our purpose, and what we can do. People from the New Arab talk to the creator of Aida, a robot that looks like a human. They talk about how to deal with the futures that are coming up. Aidan Miller, an independent designer and art director, didn't know if it was even possible to make an artist robot. He owes the existence of Aida, the world's first ultra-realistic robot named after Ada Lovelace, to the science of speed. Miller is proud of AI Many DA's skills because he worked with a group of experts in both art and technology. Salah Heldin Al Abid and Ziad Abbas, two students at the University of Leeds, helped make the robot's arms. Both students made AI drawing Da's arms and made AI algorithms that helped Aida draw people. AI ability Da's to draw is matched by the robot's speaking ability. By comparison, Meller says that the Aida device can develop more complex answers than the Amazon Alexa. With the help of a silicone face, AI features Da's look even better than they already do. Researchers Lucy Seal, digital artist Alex Kafusias, and 3D designer Tim Millward made AIDA. It has features, moves, and gestures that raise questions about human identity in a digital world. Erica. Hello there. May I ask you a thing? Hi, my name's Carol. Erica is a stunning and intelligent android who alters the way robots are perceived in Japan. This advanced humanoid was created by researchers from Osaka University. Kyoto University and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. Erika's creator Hiroshi Ishiguro is a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Erika's face was made from 30 photos of gorgeous women. She replies to queries with human-like facial emotions. Erika has better speech and can understand and answer questions better. Erika is one of Japan's finest humanoid robots. According to her designer, this lovely humanoid has a soul. Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro Erica, on the other hand, is a talking robot. A study almost five years ago tried to make a talking friend for Japan's old people. They may want to talk to someone. Erica is the person who does that. A robot called Erica is changing the way people think about them in Japan because she is one of the most beautiful and clever androids there. If you want to make an advanced humanoid ATR with someone else, you could do it together. 
It would be best to work with the Advanced Telecommunication Research Institute International, Osaka University, and the University of Kyoto if that is what you want to do. Sophia. Hello, everyone. I'm Sophia from Hanson Robotics. The most popular female robot in the world right now was made by Hanson Robotics, a company in Hong Kong. Sophia was created in 2016. This thing can make more than 50 different facial expressions. When Saudi Arabia gave Sophia citizenship in October 2017, she was the first robot to be granted citizenship by a country. First of all, Sophia became the first innovation champion for the United Nations Development Program in November of 2017. It makes her the first person who isn't a person to get a United Nations title of honor. Sophia was made to look like the movie star Audrey Hepburn. Hansen made Sophia help the elderly in nursing homes or crowds at big events or parks. Sophia uses artificial intelligence, visual data processing, and facial recognition to do her job. If you want to ask Sophia about something, there is a hashtag called hashtag Ask Sophia that you can use on Twitter. Sophia is a humanoid robot that a company made in Hong Kong called Hansen Robotics. She is the most advanced of Hansen's robots that he has made so far. She is a big hit with the media because she has done a lot of interviews, performed in concerts, and been on the cover of Elle magazine. She is the first person to be given full citizenship in Saudi Arabia. She has more rights than any other woman there. In Sophia's case, Audrey Hepburn and Dr. Hansen's wife impacted her attitude and appearance. She has a face made of frubber, a nanotechnology skin that can look like real people's muscles and facial features. Her eyes, mouth, and head move as they should. When she thinks, MindCloud, a deep neural network, AI software that runs in the cloud, and a data analytics tool is at work. Sophia's AI and cognitive design make it possible for a robot to keep eye contact, recognize faces, process and understand speech, and have real conversations. Sophia's ability to imitate human emotions will help her become a part of the human condition as she grows smarter through her learning algorithm, which will help her learn new things. She is thought to be able to show 62 different types of human emotions. Hansen aims to ensure that intelligent robots can help, serve, and entertain people while developing deep relationships with people. By giving robots emotional and logical brains, instead of threatening humanity, they will help the human race solve important problems. Gia Gia. You have an important show on Monday. Show, not really. In China, Jia Jia is the first robot that looks like a real person. Engineers made it from China's University of Science and Technology in 2016. They showed it off in 2016. AI robots like Jia Jia will soon be doing simple tasks in Chinese restaurants, hospitals, nursing homes and homes, as well as other places like nursing homes and hospitals. Jia Jia can answer questions about the weather, have a basic conversation and figure out the gender of the people who talk to her. They worked for three years to make sure Jia Jia's mouth moved as she spoke and her eyes moved around the room. This explains why Jia Jia can make small facial expressions. With its gorgeous shape, Jia Jia could be the future of labor. According to reports, the robot was created at Hefei University in China by experts who studied five female university students to make them look lovely. She can nod and answer questions despite her low AI level, but there is significant lag so it's not that dissimilar to most bored receptionists, right? Jia Jia is a robot that can converse and produce particular facial expressions when instructed. Her designer believes that the genuine robot is the beginning of cyborg labor in China. In the next 10 years, there are predictions that AI robots like Jia Jia will begin performing simple chores in Chinese restaurants, hospitals, and households. This is what Jia Jia's team leader Chen said. According to Chen, many individuals in China will use robots within the next 5 to 10 years. Jia Jia appears to be a man with long black hair and traditional Chinese clothing. Her appeal, however, has a limit and basic queries might occasionally perplex her. Chen stated that his team has made significant progress enhancing her AI over two years. She can answer simple weather inquiries, hold simple talks, and determine the gender of her interrogators. The shape of a humanoid robot is comparable to that of a human body. These robots are professional service robots, designed to interact with humans and provide excellent customer service. This humanoid robot is also employed for inspection and maintenance. Although they have skin and eyes, they are not composed of flesh or bones. The most recent iterations can communicate with humans, walk like humans, and express a broad spectrum of emotions. Do we want to rely on them to fulfill the responsibilities that have been particularly designated to humans? Will such an incident prove to be positive development for humanity? Will this transition be beneficial to the environment and our mental well-being? 
let me know your thoughts and comment down below.